Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the Bothrian administration. So last episode we've been mostly dealing with a pretty serious energy crisis, I think caused by some uh, rebalancing in the 1.1 patch, which um, we kind of have under control temporarily, mostly by buying a bunch of energy from the Just Can allied nations, our former allies, but we can't do that forever, uh, largely because I plan on attacking them at some point. We're going to have a border with them in some at some point in the future when we integrate our vassals in the Uruxa. Uh, and also, we just can't keep that up forever, I assume, for some reason. Anyway, we therefore need to upgrade our own uh, energy production, so we're working on that. We have... Uh, let's see, we have some power plants here. At, yeah, this is the planet that we just newly colonized with the, for some reason, xenophobic human populations, which I did not mean to colonize it with, but apparently that's how it worked out. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on here as well. We have a robot pop about to finish building, and we'll be able to start upgrading these power plants here too. Uh, let's start building one here. It's probably going to be worth our time to build a power hub on this planet, maybe as the next building. And once we start getting a decent amount of energy available again, we'll start clearing the blockers Construction too. Construction complete. Construction complete. Alright, you are building all kinds of upgrades, good for you. Governor is leveling up, okay. And we are capped on minerals again. Okay, well, despite giving away a whole bunch of minerals to the Just Can, we're still making uh, more than enough, apparently. I guess we'll try to give some to our uh, sectors. Maybe especially the Fushro sector. Yeah, let's just give them thousands. Uh, we do have them concentrating on energy generation, which uh, is what we would like to get more of in general. It's probably not going to be a very effective sector for quite a while though, since all of the pops are still unhappy about being conquered. But they'll get over it at some point. Or so, I assume. How are things on Earth? I think we were mostly upgrading the mineral silos here. Which is fine. Do we know what the pop is going to be like before it grows? Yeah, it's going to be xenophobic as well. Uh, I'd like to enact edicts, but unfortunately we're fairly short on influence as well at the moment, so we can't try to increase their happiness or lower their ethics divergence at this point. The Hythian hegemony has declared the inter interstellar Jun state their rival, okay. Well, we're currently pretty friendly with them because we're formerly allies, but definitely could be convinced to turn on them. Let's see, maybe we should try to get friendly with the Hythian hegemony since we're definitely not going to be attacking them. Well, they're pathetic compared to us. So maybe there's not really any points. We have three embassies already. Um, Alright, we'll probably not bother for the moment. Construction complete. Construction complete. Uh, I just want to check on the food situation. And on these planets, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'm pretty sure we're going to be at okay food, but on the growing ones, we want to make sure that we have a nice surplus if possible, which we do. Uh, I won't bother queuing up an upgrade to the hydroponics farms then at this point. So the second robot pop here has finished. We can definitely start queuing up more power plant upgrades. We're going to have to wait for the 
Construction complete. Currently upgrading ones before we can queue up the next level of upgrades. So that's one another thing I wish they would add as well. You can't currently upgrade uh, or queue up the upgrades to say a level two power plant and a level three power plant at the same time. You have to wait for it to finish, which is a little annoying. I bet Arumba has mentioned that in one of his uh, adjustment videos. Uh, the Hythian Hegemony wants to give us energy credits in exchange for minerals. Absolutely. I agree. Sounds great. Research complete. Construction complete. Okay, we have improved fighter and bomber wings. Which we will incorporate into our fleet at some point. We can go to advanced fighter and bomber wings. Engineering facility, probably not necessary. We're a little far ahead of everything on engineering tech right now. Uh, swarmer missiles could be good. Maybe we'll just get kinetic weapon damage. It's one of the relatively cheaper ones. Just a nice flat percentage increase to our combat effectiveness. Ooh, uh, one thing is I did not move my battleships to one of our lower uh, maintenance cost places. So let's get them over here and we may as well merge them up with the rest of our fleet while we're here. Construction complete. Yeah, I'm not sure what this big green circle is actually. I wonder if this is like the radius of our uh, strike craft or something. No, we have that for all of our other ones. I guess this must be a new UI element, which I am not familiar with. Okay. It's probably like combat engagement radius or something. Anyway, we'll just merge all of our fleets together for now. Which is <laughs> really affecting the frame rate. Okay. Uh, I'd also like you to be in orbit of here if you're not already. Let's zoom out of there. 21,000 military power is uh, pretty good though. Construction complete. I think. All right, how are we doing over here? Yeah, you're all gonna be xenophobes, so I don't know if it's even much worth our trouble building stuff on this planet as it stands. See, we have the hydroponics farm. Uh, we definitely do want to build the solar panel network for one thing, though. Yeah, I guess we'll just build a hydroponic farm on the surface as well. We may as well get it growing faster. Hopefully at some point we'll be able to get their ethics back in line with our larger empire and make use out of them. Construction complete. Yeah, one of our buildings has been ruined, but it's uh, part of a sector over there, so there's nothing we can do about that directly. Construction complete. Um, our... Wait a second. Our synthetic pups here are unhappy about artificial intelligence having citizen rights. Is this correct? Does this make any sense? They're fanatic spiritualists? Is that why? Or is it because there's a higher level of that um, policy that we can enact that we haven't yet? And uh, nope, this is the highest level. Well, this doesn't seem to make any sense. I guess it's because of the fanatic spiritualist ethic that they have for some reason. All right. Construction complete. Construction complete. 
All right, we should probably do something with our excess minerals since we're sitting at the cap again. I know I said I was just going to try to not worry about this as much, but... We should at the very least give it to some of our sectors. Also, some kind of slider here would be nice. Talking about UI elements. Um, hopefully we start getting some more physics research out of our research-focused sectors as well, since we recently got the next two levels of the physics labs. Not sure why they're focusing so much on engineering research, apparently, but uh, I guess that's why we're so far ahead. It's largely because of our sectors. Uh, we seem to be at plus 81 energy credits now, which uh, seems like a lot. I guess some of our upgrades here have been kicking in. Construction complete. Construction complete. This pop is about to grow to maturity complete. as well. Construction complete. Construction complete. And I think it might be about time that we built a power hub on this planet. Costs us 25 influence, which we are low on. That's okay. Uh, part of the reason here is because we're spending three per month to integrate our subject, so that's only temporary. Uh, still doing absolutely fine for food. More sabotage by the Jessenax, okay. The Isirian Consolidated Planets declared war on the Midari Confederation. Uh, no open galaxy map. Construction complete. Uh, Midari Confederation is where were they? Somewhere over here, I assume. All oh, right, okay. So these guys are attacking these guys. That looks like it's going to be a fairly one-sided fight, unless they have some powerful allies, which they don't. All right, we got our power plants upgraded Research there. Complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. And we have these ones queued up too. That's fine. Um, I think we can possibly afford to start clearing some more blockers on this planet now if we want to. I'm going to clear these ones because I intend to build power plants and I guess we may as well do the empty squares before we start overriding resources in case we... Aside, for some reason, we want to make use of the resources. Okay, we can now hire one more leader. 25% uh, food. 5% food. Um, okay. Extra leader lifespan, extra army health. Uh, I still don't think we really need the pioneering terminal. Let's get the 25% food. That seems useful. And uh, let's just upgrade some more mineral silos. And the power plants here as well, I suppose. Even if they are going to be less effective than they could be. Alright, the Jessenex are restless again. I guess we'll just have to keep suppressing their media for now. At least we are looking uh, pretty good on energy at this point, and I'm starting to consider getting some new ships built. Uh, so we're about to start getting extra food here. We can't actually upgrade anything further until we have five pops on this planet, so there's not much to be done there for now. That's fine. Yeah, more sabotage. 
Let's queue up this to level three. And a scientist leveled up, which is nice. Um, oh, there's an election for a new overseer. Okay, so we can spend 200 influence, which we do not have to vote for somebody, but um, let's see. I guess the lower ship upkeep would be nice, but we do not have any effect over this, I guess. We'll just have to abstain and see who gets elected. We have elected Moz, which gives us plus 10% research speed, which actually is pretty good. I like it. Up to 119 energy per month, 121. This seems pretty good. So even when we lose the energy per month from the Just Can, we're going to be doing pretty good, at least for the time being. And we have even still more power plant upgrades to be done here. So I think we're going to be fine. Let's get some ships queued up then. Uh, let me though first of all take a look at my ship designer and see if there's any direct upgrades we can do pretty quickly and easily here. I don't think we've gotten any higher level reactors or anything, so we may not be able to upgrade everything. So this is barrier point defense. I don't think we got a new level of this. No. Medium railgun. Uh, we did get advanced railgun, and we have some extra excess power on these ships, so we can probably replace those without having to do anything. Sounds good. So our other gecko is the torpedo ship. I think we got a new level of torpedoes. Maybe we're still researching those, or maybe I decided to do something else, so nothing we can really do here. That is fine. Uh, we have advanced railguns here already. That's our highest level there. Everything else. Oh, we definitely did get um, better armor. This doesn't in in uh, increase power consumption, but I guess it makes them more expensive. I don't think we had armor on the smaller ships. No, okay. I don't think I actually saved that one either, so let's do that again. Alright, we got this upgraded. Um, we do have better lasers, I think. Oh no, that's our highest level, okay. Oh no, don't remove the lasers, there we go. Uh, did I save the Corvette I upgraded as well, actually? I did, okay. And our cruiser, we can just upgrade the armor. Seems fine, and lastly, our battleship. So we have 15 excess power here. We do have better versions of the fighter and bomber wings. So let's put those in and see what that does to power consumption. Minus five. Yeah, so we're gonna have to lose something else, or we can just leave the bomber wings at basic. Can upgrade the armor though. Okay, that'll do for now, I think. So let's get started with some building. So we have Corvette assembly yards here. This is where we'll make many of our Corvettes. And destroyers can be built here. Like five cruisers, I guess, and we do not have battleship assembly yards or the ability to build them, so we'll just queue up, say, one battleship here and maybe one 
can't build a battleship because we don't have the necessary spaceport level, so we'll queue that up first. One battleship will do for the moment, though, I think. Alright. So obviously I was not remotely keeping track of how much uh, naval capacity this is going to use up. We're going to have to wait for them to actually be built to find Research out. Complete. Kinetic weapon damage is good. Ah, leadership androids allowed. So I guess this will um, placate our synth pops. Okay, we'll probably do this. It's rare, so I feel like we shouldn't turn down the opportunity. Even though it is going to take a long time. Eh, 60 months is not that bad. Research complete. Okay, so we can get power plant upgrades. I definitely think we want to do this now. This will solidify our power income pretty well for the foreseeable future, I think. Being able to upgrade all of our power plants by two additional levels is going to be pretty good. Actually, relatively quick as well. Um, I'm kind of surprised how quickly the research is going. I know that one of the complete. changes introduced in the 1.1 patch was that uh, technology costs now scale with the size of your empire. The more planets you control and the more pops you have, the longer it takes to research stuff, but that doesn't seem to have affected us too much, I don't think. Because we still seem to be researching things at a reasonable pace. I guess we're not a huge empire at this point. Construction complete. All right, let's see if there's anything else we want to build in here. No reason to upgrade the mining networks, I think. At least for now. But maybe with all of this excess power, we could. Though if we were going to upgrade mining networks, we would do it on this planet, our mining planet. And we're now actually at our energy cap, which is uh, pretty good. Let's spend some energy. I think I'll clear blockers. Uh, first of all, we'll queue up power plant upgrades. Though I guess maybe we should deprioritize power plant upgrades, power plant upgrades at this point. That's okay, we'll clear these blockers. Just uh, those ones basically at random, I guess. I may actually build some research labs on this planet. If there were physics research tiles available, there's only one. But yeah, I don't think we're going to need to fully devote that planet to energy production. Considering how things are looking now, and considering the power plant upgrades that we're currently researching. We'll clear some more blockers here, I suppose. No reason not to do everything on this planet, since we don't want to build anything, really. Considering how unhappy the humans are. Construction complete. All right, you finished with your uh, construction queue already. Just the battleship. Okay, we'll build a second one. It was the battleship and, of course, the station upgrade. Wait, no, that makes no sense. We had the station upgrade queued up over here. Well, let's queue up another battleship then, why not? Alright, so I think we might get up to something like 400 naval capacity of our available 
540-ish. Uh, let's see how we compare militarily to the Just Can at this point. Their fleet power is superior to us, actually. Hmm. Okay. And who are they allied with again? Just the Jun State. Alright. So, maybe once we finish all of our upgrades we could take them. Might be a bit close, though. We'd also have the Uruxo on our side, of course. How many sh ships do they have currently? Not a huge fleet compared to ours, but not nothing. Might just give it a try anyway, or we might build like a second wave of fleet upgrades, or f new ships is what I mean. More sabotage. Alright, well, I guess we'll leave it here for this episode then. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.